Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we will be installing Linux on this M1 MacBook Air. So without any further ado, let's get started. So there are two things which you have to install, UTM and then you have to install, click on download and the second thing which we have to install, which is the Ubuntu ISO file for ARM. So you can click on this second option, I will leave the links in the description below. So Ubuntu server, choose the option 23.04 The LTS is like if you want to run it natively but we'll be choosing the second option because we'll be using this uh, the second option is mainly for doing it in virtual machines whereas the first option is for completely natively like there'll be no Mac OS in it and there'll be just Ubuntu in it So we are doing it in a virtual machine so we'll be using the second option So once the UTM file has been installed you can just click on it and install it in the normal way it's a normal procedure like how you install other softwares Once you have installed UTM just click on it click on this option of create a new virtual machine and then click on the option of virtualize and then click on Linux and then uh, yeah boot ISO image you got to choose on browse option and you have to choose the file which you have installed the ISO file of that Ubuntu you can just open and you can say continue and the memory uh, memory is basically the amount of RAM which you want to designate my MacBook has 8 GB of RAM I'm designating around 4 GB and uh, Hardware acceleration doesn't work well with Linux as of now, it works well with Windows but you can just leave it as it is and the number of CPU cores, I'm just giving it 4 CPU cores and uh, continue and the amount of size which you want to give to your virtual machine uh, you can give 15 GB or something but 15 GB is more than enough Shared directory path is basically the folder which the virtual machine will be able to access I mean the folder which is located in the Mac OS that folder will be accessed by the virtual machine so you can just uh, like I'm choosing the downloads folder which can be used by the virtual machine and continue and you can just name like I can just give Navy VM and uh, all such things you will just gotta like, just click on save and then once the Navy VM has been saved you can just run and uh, after running so now we gotta click on try and install Ubuntu server continue it might take some time we have to be patient so now you gotta press on the English ops and we can just use the return button uh, continue without updating like it's not necessary to update uh, done keyboard layout done 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 and uh, network connection like you users have to agree it like done done let it do its it'll, use, it'll like create a dummy proxy and just like let it do its stuff so done yeah we just gotta agree it and done done and if you want to navigate up and down, you can just use the up and down arrow. Uh, nothing will be deleted, like you will not panic anything. You can just say continue and uh, the name, like you can just give any name. Navy. And the uh, server's name, you can give the VRV or anything. But make sure you remember the username and the password because that will be required when you want to log in to the virtual machine. So I'm just giving Navy RE once again. Password, I'll just give 1234. This one was 1234. And uh, do you want to install OpenSSH server is basically if you want to run your uh, virtual machine from a remote location but uh, nobody will be doing all such things so you can just click done and the, which one we which one we have to use you can use docker I guess there's, there's docker yeah and here is the stuff which is related to the development thing and programmers will relate more to it but uh, you can just use uh, docker like basically you can even skip this part but all because all such things can be installed from the terminal directly so now we have to wait for some time and uh, let the installation get over and then I'll get back to you so okay so now that as the installation is done we can just uh, shut down the virtual machine okay we are just shutting down the virtual machine okay once you shut down the virtual machine now you gotta go over here and you ask to click on this clear option and then now again run this virtual machine so this time now it will boot into the Linux tells hopefully fingers crossed all right congratulations Ubuntu has been officially installed there is no graphical user interface over it this is proper Linux you know so let's first log in and see if it works or not and a b e r i one two three four yes Ubuntu has been installed completely now we have to install the graphical user interface over it so we basically need to run two commands for it and uh, we are good to go. So the first command which you have to run is sudo apt update pylan.
it will ask for password one two three four and if the password is not visible while tapping just type the password correctly and so the second command which you have to run to install uh, is uh, So we just got to give Y and and now we have to sit back. This process will take lots and lots and lots of time. For me, it took around one hour, but uh, it takes lots of time. So now we have to be patient and uh, we'll wait. And now once the installation is done after like, waiting for one hour, now you have to enter the command reboot and uh, it will reboot into the graphical user interface of the Ubuntu, which will look something like this. And uh, congratulations, you have completely installed as is. Enter my credentials and this is how the virtual machine looks and it's extremely stable to be honest I have been using this virtual machine for the past two three days and it's extremely stable the the thing which I like the most about this virtual machine is that there is literally no performance drop and uh, my computer hasn't slowed down like not even once and it works so effortlessly and so nicely and the fact that I can switch between my virtual machine and my Mac OS so quickly is like really so nice and uh, it's really cool because see, right now I am in my, right now it's the Ubuntu thing and I can just use my four fingers and I can just, I'm back to Mac OS, like, like I'm back to my Mac OS. Use my four fingers, I can just go back, I'm again to Linux and uh, you know, all the apps are functional and everything is there and you know, the, the terminal works completely fine and all such things and if I want to again go back to my Mac OS, I'll just take my four fingers I'll just do a swipe and I'm back to my Mac OS. I can use all of my apps and I can immediately, if I again want to go back to my virtual machine, I can just do like this. So uh, the only thing which you have to do is you have to click on this option and uh, yep, that's pretty much it. I hope this video was functional and I hope this video was helpful to you. I uploaded a video after a very long time. So thank you for watching the video. Until next time, goodbye. I missed you all and bye-bye.